Hello and welcome, this is Hero887 Lego Man style. <laughs> no, this actually I had him wearing today. Interesting and distracting at the same time. Anyway, this is Hero887, your host, welcoming you to another episode of Feed the Beats Let's Play, episode number six, and I see some squids. I love the slaying of the squids. Ah, oh, beautiful. You trying to get away with Mr. Squid and you're not gonna get away today. Okay, maybe you are. Yeah, squid attack! Thanks for your ink sacks, I will use them wisely. Alright, so as you recall from last episode, I was trying to uh, do some stuff with Tinker's Construct. So, I'm going to keep my promise to you awesome viewers out there today and continue that endeavor. So, if you recall, I was making the Tinker Construct room over yonder fourth right here at B with my broken obsidian plates. I, please still leave a comment if you know what's going on because really, it works but it doesn't work. I don't really get it. I'm going to try to fix this. I don't, I don't, I don't know. See, it should close, but it doesn't, so I'm kind of m mad about that. Anyways, I'm not going to get too distracted, but I will bring over my chest that I brought with the Force Wrench, because the Force Wrench is awesome from Darkcraft, which is not a part of this mod, which you might know. Anyways, I'm babbling on. What you need to know today is how to craft an awesome multi-block structure from Tinker's Construct. Where's my book? Here we go. Here's at least one of them. I got two of them for some reason. Anyways, here it is. This is the item we have to make. So in order to make this, what we need to make today is a seared tank, uh, a smeltery controller. So let's start with the smeltery controller because I'm very, you know, one-minded. I can only do one thing at a time. Smelt. There we go. And I did happen to pull up this mod so it only pulls up these kind of things. So looks very easy. Just need to... Okay, let's do that, shall we? I believe... No, it's a part builder. No, it's a stencil table. Uh, it's a tool station. Okay, no, no no, problem. I've got my own crafting table I forgot about called the clipboard. Also from Darkcraft. And voila, yo. Put these away because I don't really need them particularly right now. You always need bread, so I'm going to leave the bread in. And uh, beautiful. So the way I want this to face... Let's let it face right... <coughs> right here. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Next thing we need to do is get some glass, which I hope I got some of that. Because I know the next thing we need to make is some sear tanks. So, let's see what we need for that. I think we need glass, most certainly. I'll go get one of those. I don't know what that music was from. Kind of sounded like Pokemon. Okay, where's the glass? You got some glass for me, folks. Here's some glass. One. Gonna need more than that. I need a lot more glass than that. I'm sure I was cooking up some glass somewhere else, but I just can't recall what happened to it. Hey, maybe it fell inside the miner's backpack? I kind of doubt it. Nope, there's some redstone in there, though. I know where that belongs. Get back in there. Okay, let me find my glass, then I'll be back. <laughs> I forgot I set up a cool redstone furnace to melt to melt down the glass. So it's very awesome, powered by the redstone, as you recall from other episodes. So here it is. And I uh, found the glass. So I'm a happy camper now. It was just in a chest that was inside of the makeshift home we had there earlier. So now to make the seared tanks, shall we? Let's take a look-see here. Seared tank is made like so. Very simple. Simplic simplicity is the best. Simplicity is key. So I'm actually going to make a couple of these because these will hold lava and the lava is going to keep this thing powered. That's how you basically run this Maduhickey. And the, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now once it's completed, this thing will, will all, uh, start, look like it's cooking. So right now obviously it's not because it's not near completed yet. So we're going to need a lot more of these. I'm going to have to make... I'm a little concerned though because I want to make sure to make the particular windows seared glass, a car seared glass, and then the seared window. Which one's cheaper? Six takes four. I think this one's cheaper because it's harder to find this, so I'm going to make the seared glass instead of a seared window. And the reason for that is because they act the same as this is here, but it's just a window to look inside, so I like that better. So let's go ahead and craft a few of those, shall we? I'm going to craft what I can and um, put these together. And once I'm done, let's see, let's start here. So there's three. Let's start with three because I'm, I'm trying to think how I want to make this. One, two, 
and we'll give we'll make three. Let me just show you how this works. Subscriber awesomeness people. There we go. I missed one apparently. Okay, so now we're gonna put this the tanks right here. That way we can look inside, and I love looking inside. Because looking inside is boss. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is make some seared bricks to finish things up. And I'm going to have to make quite a few of these. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you. You do not need to put it here, but you can put it here. Um, and here. So you don't have to fill in the sides. You just have to fill in and make it touch every single corner. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back, Minecrafters. Well, I got some bad news and some good news. First of all, we ran out of seared bricks, which means I got to find a whole lot more clay. And in order to make some more of the seared bricks, I want to show you here so you know, you got to smelt down some grout. How do you make grout? Well, you got to make it with sand and gravel, which gravel can come, come sometimes be hard to find because I got to go mining for it. And then, of course, clay. So I hope that I have enough, but basically what you see here is what I got to do. I got a solution, though, and um, here's my solution. If you take... Uh, cobblestone you put it in a pulverizer like so what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn all the cobblestone into sand and it also gives me a 10% chance to get some more of the gravel so that there you go so you just saw that happen right there so what I'm gonna do is make some more of this cobblestone from the igneous extruder I just put it to cobblestone mode because I was working on stone before just do so by clicking that and we're making some free cobble I love it I love it I love it and so this is going to be good because we need to make some more grout and in order to do that I showed you how before but let's go ahead and craft up some of that stuff shall we seared grout and let's go ahead and I think I can only make a little bit so let's let's do that shift right click this into there and yeah we only have two so <laughs> that's not going well but now that I have a couple of those I'm going to throw those in here and smelt some more up so in the meantime um, subscribers and superhero sidekicks what I'm going to have to do is work on these and get some more in order to make a few more bricks uh, how many I need let me go take a look I think so far I've only got a few to finish this project but once we do it's going to be worth it so we need one two three four five I think five at least we might have to make it two levels high but we may just need five if not five we'll need ten so or no actually we need twelve so anyways hopefully yeah we're getting some more gravel and some it's, it's great I love it so I'll see you back in a moment sidekicks when I have returned Welcome back, Minecrafters and Sidekicks. So, I have some exciting news. I had to move some stuff around, but here you might be shocked at the amazing, awesome smeltery. It is nearly complete. As you can tell, I used some seared windows, which I found out is a connected texture, as you can see here. It connects the glass, which is pretty cool, as opposed to the seared um, glass. So, you got seared glass and you got seared windows. As you can see, the windows are a little bit better, a little bit more costly, but um, I kind of like them a little bit better. Anyways, what I did here is put some lava tanks put together here. I just emptied all the lava I had in this portable tank with a fluid duct into it. Just hit it with a wrench and shabamzy, there it goes into the smelting area. As you can see, it works. And because I have it um, designed to be so high, blocks high, um, I can have even more um, slots for smelting down goodies. So let me make a couple of these and finish up what I was doing here. See, so jump shot this. There we go and jump shot and I put glass on the bottom just so I could kinda see what was in there um, I don't know <laughs> just I had a whole lot of it left over anyways uh, so now we can see you see that it just added a huge another slot there because I made it taller so you can make this pretty tall I don't know the maximum um, height but anyways the benefit of this is you get more in here the better you know what the problem is I need to suck out this um, for some reason, these tanks aren't connecting up, so that's not good. Let's see if I can get the lava out of here. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Closed door. It's dark out there. I don't want anything coming in and sneaking up and, and taking all my goods. So I'm going to hit this, see if it will take out of it. Does it work? Come on, I need, I need that lava. I need the lava that I went to find and get. Oh, man. Input. It's on input. This is... um. Maybe it needs a redstone signal. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it needs. So let me make that. I don't think it withdraws anything unless if I make a redstone signal. So get some... No, we don't really need redstone. What am I thinking? I just need a lever. So I got some wood. Here we go. Get some wood. And the um, question is, do I have... Man, no, 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 no. 
do this. Let's go find some wood. Oh, skeleton. I hear some wood. Perfect. I just need... Oh, no. What am I thinking? I need a stone, not wood. What am I thinking? Here we go. This will work fine right here. And okay, I got it. Get back inside. We're safe. Ah, so safe. You know, I wouldn't ever think making... Oh, come on. Stupid. Uh, I wouldn't ever think making a uh, lever would be so difficult. <laughs> But it is for Hero 887. There we go. Apply a redstone signal if I can. You know what the worst part is? Nah, I can't even put it on those items. It won't work. It won't, it won't plug in. So, I need to go get a pneumatic servo so that it'll apply its own redstone signal. Get rid of this lever. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Take the bread, though. Thank you very much. This stuff is just working. Working overtime over here. Pneumatic servo. Yes, I knew I had an extra one. Now the benefit of these guys is you put them into a fluid duct, and and uh, it gives you another control panel to use. So let me just demonstrate that. Might as well. I hope this works. Oh, dang it! I hate when that happens. I'm I'm so retarded at times. So I want to put the portable tank here. It's an input mode. The only problem is I don't think it's inputting from the right side. Might have to input it from the top. Let's just try that first, shall we? There we go. And nothing, so that's what I thought. I need to put a pneumatic servo. There we go. Then you can right-click it and whitelist, blacklist. Uh, I'll explain that later. Let's put a redstone signal on. There we go. Beautiful. Empty out that tank. I'm so excited because uh, it wasn't working for me. I was like, oh, man, come on. Please work. And then it gives you the pneumatic servo back. Very cool. Uh, but do I have... Where's the fluid duct? I don't see the fluid duct. Oh, wait, there it is. It's right here in front of me. I am blind. I am so blind. Put uh, this here. And then let's put in the pneumatic servo. Installed. Low. And it should... Yeah, I got to hit it with the wrench again to put it on output mode. And there we go. It drained us out. So I really don't know why that wasn't working. Um, but it's a bummer for sure. So I'm just going to put it down here. There we go. And you don't need a pneumatic servo to put stuff in. I'll tell you that. Actually, I don't think it'll work there. It has to use gravity. Learn from the last time. There we go. And let's put it into output mode. Now we should see... You know what? It probably would have worked. I was just assuming that the smeltery would fill up with lava here, but it doesn't. So I probably did all that work for absolutely nothing. But anyway, at least it's a little bit more symmetrical. I like symmetrics. There we go. And empty it out. There we go. Output. Come on. Very good. Fill that sucker up with lava. Okay, so that looks a little better. It kind of looked awkward before, so if anything, at least I fixed that. Alright, we're going to put the f pneumatic servo, the fluid duct in here for later use. And okay, so let me explain to you today how to use the smeltery. Uh, I'm a little hungry, so I'll eat some bread, and then we'll get talking, because a man all knows, a man knows you can't make, you know, tutorials on an empty stomach. Why do I have rubber? Do not want rubber. Raw rubber! Okay. So, as you can see, it is working tremendously good. And what you want to do is get your little book here, materials in you, and it's going to tell you what kind of items you need to, actually, I'm get, that's the wrong one. It's the black book. Let's try that one instead. And Okay, so you go in here and it teaches you how to make uh, alloys and recipes. So, first of all, um, we got the smelt recontrol, we got the smelt and tank, we put in the seared bricks, and any combination of a drain. So, we do have to make a drain, a faucet, and a casting table still. But before I do that, let me just show you um, what we need to make. So, uh, in order to make aluminum brass, this is going to be the important item. Aluminum brass will allow us to, to cast... Uh, the items we need to make some pretty sweet awesome stuff, which is why I'm doing all this. So first of all, I need to make aluminum brass made from three aluminum and one copper. So if I go over here, throw my book on the ground, no. If I get three aluminum, see where it's at here, there's some tin. Aluminium, I need to find some alu, we, got, we know we need some copper. And do I even have any? Here we go, I knew I had to have some. So th so there we go. I've got plenty of that now. What you need to know with this book, however, is the, the recipe to do it. So three aluminum, one copper. Now, what you need to know here is every time you put in an item, it makes two of that item. It doubles it for you. So this is another great way to make uh, or duplication. So I will put in, actually I will put in six aluminum 
or three will give me six aluminum, which then will make uh, only one aluminum brass unless if I put two copper in. So let's try that, okay, shall we? So let's put in two copper. There we go, and that'll start smelting, and then we'll put, uh, did I say, let's see, one will give me two, two will give me four, and three will give me six. So this should actually give me two aluminum brass. So while that's cooking up, you'll notice over here that it put those items in, and you can see it smelting up. So we got the combination correct, and you'll see soon how that works. Next, while that's working, let's go ahead and make some of the other things. Um... Let's see here. Let's find them. Smeltery controller. What? Oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. We need a smeltery drain. Okay, easy enough. Easy peasy pumpkin. Squeezy. Squeeze those pumpkins. Okay, just kidding. Oh, oh, oh. oh cool. Did you just see that? It turned it into... I always throw my stuff on the ground. It turned it into aluminum brass. Da, 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 da. We got eight of it, so you can see it definitely du duplicated. Duplicated. Du du and we need to put this somewhere, so let's put it. Um, let's. Oh no, I don't want to open that. Oh no, don't want to let in the mobs. In the in the mobs are bad, very bad mobs. Okay, so let me see here. What you need to keep in mind is you don't. Don't fill this whole thing up, just a little tip, because this also counts as an item. So now we have to smelter drain. Now we need to make, um, nope, not that. We need to make a, uh, let's see if it's, there we go, what is this? Casting channel. Oh, cool, I didn't even know I could make these. <laughs> Beautiful. That, that'll that be really cool. Let me see if, if, I, if I had, like, it pulled around and drain it to right here, maybe. That would be pretty epic. Let's do that. Uh, that looks. That seems like a cool idea to me. I don't know about you, but it seems like a cool idea to me. So let's put the smeltery drain here, and then let's put. Um, where are those? There we go. We'll get. We'll, we'll get those, and then this should work, like, so. Is that right? Yeah. You can see here that it's draining, kind of. And then what I need to do is make a casting table, like so. So let's do that, shall we? Hopefully we have enough of this stuff left. Casting table, yes. And that's done now, so let's put that there. Aha! Mm -hmm, it's working! Oh, yes. <laughs> now, I could have I could have just put this right here, but then it would kind of be, kind of be blocking a little bit. I guess I guess it's the same thing cuz it's I don't know. I just thought I'd do that for a difference. So now I have a blank cast. And we all know blank casts are awesome. I'm excited about that. And I wonder if I just break this. If that'll Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I like it. Uh, so we got a couple blank casts, and that's good because that's where we need to start. So what I would like to do, oh, 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 let me teach you all something very epic and awesome here. We want to make some ingots, an ingot cast. In order to do that, you just put an ingot into the casting table like so. And you can see it puts it down. And I'm going to put this uh, thing back here in the casting channel. Should be pouring down some aluminum brass, if I'm not mistaken. Do we have any more? Maybe because I broke it, it didn't work. Oh no, because I broke it. Hmm. I don't know if those casting cha channels are something that I should use or not. Just Let's put this here. And let's make a drain. Which I believe is made just like... This? Nope. That wasn't it. Let's find the drain, shall we? Here we go. Seared. Oh, faucet. Seared faucet. More faucet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then you just right-click it. Yeah, there you go. You have control over it. I like this much better. Oh, snaps. No. I got another blank cast. Well, oh, well. That's okay. Uh, so anyways, what you want to do is get an ingot. Where did that ingot go? That's weird. I just know I had some tin. 
whatever I got I've got this this will work fine just put this down here like so and then smack the faucet and what you will get is well do we have enough it ran out I am back minecrafters and it is really rainy outside so apologize for that but I figured it out basically it was just what I was doing before but for some reason it didn't work probably had something to do with me messing around with the casting channel thing whatever whatever it was but anyways if you want to get a ingot cast all you have to do is put an ingot in it like you just saw and then pour it over top and you see we have another cast what I think happened is I actually ran out of the molten uh, aluminum brass so in case you're wondering that's what happened next um, this is something called a casting basin and I went ahead and set up another drain with another faucet so that I can drain um, if there's a total of nine ingots in there, it'll drain into there and become a solid block. But because there's only seven, I'm not going to do that. Now, it is n the time for figuring out what kind of weapon I want to make, and that's going to be in the red book. But before I do that, let me get the rest of the aluminum brass out of there. And as you can see here, you just make the ingot cast first, and then you'll be able to get aluminum brass ingots when there's less than seven or nine. In this case, I had seven in there, which wouldn't fill up a whole block. This is the alternative way to get your ingots back and you want to make sure to clean out the smeltery before you go and make new items or new um, recipes so let me do that and I'll be back okay so I have cleaned out the entire smeltery as you can see there's no more aluminum brass in there and now I'm ready to start making some new casts in order to do that first I have to do it the same way I did with the ingot I had before you lay the ingot down and then you pour the cast over it. Now, for some reason, all my aluminum brass glitched out. I don't know what happened to it, unless if it went in my miner's backpack, which that's probably what happened actually. Hold on. I was thinking, oh no, all my items. Yeah, there it is. Whew. Thankful, thankful, thankful. So, anyways, that always scares me because I'm like, what happened to my stuff? So, I'm going to put that on lock mode so it doesn't take my items. All right, so now, how do we make a cast for uh, better weapons? Well, first of all, you need to know how to make a pattern first so let's make a pattern shall we a pattern is very simply made by putting I think it's two sticks and uh, two pieces of wood yep there you go so that's your pattern recipe right there you'll get a blank pattern as you can tell right here's a number of patterns I have already and the reason you need a pattern is because it's for making your tools these tools require a number of different items specifically made in, in the, from the pattern. So we got tool bindings, we got tool rods, and a pickaxe head. The tool that I want to make is very epic and awesome. It's called a hammer. The hammer can uh, mine in a 3x3 three three area in the direction depending on which face is pounded. So I'm very excited about because this right here is going to be an awesome tool for mining. So you need two large plates, a hammer head, and a tough rod. So what we need to get is a hammer head pattern, a tough rod pattern, and a large plate pattern. So let's go look for the hammer head pattern first of all so come over to the pattern stencil table it's called put in your stencil and then up here you have these items here you can select and toggle through so is this this is the not what I want so let me toggle through till I find it oh here we go this was a large plate pattern we need one of those and we're gonna also need some more patterns here very easy to make once again just like this in the crafting a table for the recipe and voila let's put this in here so we got we got one of these now we need to make the hammer head there we go hammer head and then we also needed a let me see in the book here what it called it um it is called a tough rod all right minecrafters i found it and uh, it is it looks like this and there you go it's called the tough rod pattern now once you have these patterns what do you do right you're curious i'm sure you're wanting all to know well just get yourself some basic items like for example cobblestone so let me go get some cobble and whoops let's not do that one once you get the cobblestone you're able then to create these basic tools now the reason i'm using cobblestone is because i don't uh, particularly I don't really care about having the the first tier stuff with the wooden patterns I want to make the second tier stuff with uh, smelting things down that's what the smeltery is for so what you do is you go over to the part builder you put in your pattern and then you put in the material you want to use in this case I want to use the cobblestone can I use cobblestone maybe I can't even oh there we go 
It was there and then it wasn't there. Sometimes I notice it does tend to glitch. There we go. So now I got a tough rod. So you just keep keep clicking and, and you'll eventually get it. So you just need one of those. And let's put my pattern back and then we'll need to get one of these. Come on. You know you want to make it for me. Come on. That's strange. Actually, let's see. This cost eight material. Oh, that's why. Because that cost eight material. That's why it wasn't working. I'm <laughs> so, so, so sorry. Well, good for you to know, right? So I got to go get some eight. That, as you can see, the, the uh, those guys cost a lot. So that should be plenty now, right? Six, yeah, we should have plenty. So it costs eight material. Uh, you want to make sure to mine the material cost. As you can see here, it tells you what it is. And then now that should work. There we go. So I got one of the stone patterns here. It sticks back. Clean out the inventory a little bit. Don't need the glass right now. So I have a plan for that, by the way. It's with Tinker's Construct. Okay, so now we got that pattern. Now we need to get the hammer pattern, which is a cost of eight again. So let's go get some more cobblestone. There we go, stone hammer. So these all three items will be used. Um, let me put in the, we need three casts here. So we're going to put in three aluminum brass so that I can then, oh, you know what? Actually, I think I don't need that many. Let's take that out because I think I already have three casts. Remember earlier? Yeah, here they go. I've got three casts already right here. So if I can, I wonder if I can do this. What do I do with a blank cast? Can I, per chance, put a blank cast in here? I can put a cast there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with a blank cast, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what to do with the blank cast. If you find out, let me know in the comment below if you know how to use a blank cast. In this case, I really don't know. So let's go ahead and put, um, we got one in there, so we'll need to put two more. There we go. Now, once you're done with that, come over here to the smeltery control, put in your item that you want to make a cast of, and shabamzy! You'll see it hardens, and then, all right, now we have the tough tool cast. Now we're going to do that with this and the hammerhead as well. Once again, you, you don't need, it doesn't matter what the material is made out of. In this case, I'm just making out of cobblestone. It's probably still melting down. Yeah, it is. It's, going, it's getting closer, and we'll see it melt before our very eyes. Here it goes. Turn to liquid. Yeah, cool. So now we're going to make one of those casts. Bingo was his name, oh, and then we're going to make the hammerhead cast. Here we go. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment for quite a while. I'm sure you all have too. It's been quite a few um, episodes to get to this point. Now, once you have these casts, you need to now decide what do you want to make um, your hammer out of. There's so many materials to choose. And in this case, for me, um, I want to make mine out of a cool material. Let's see if it's in here. There we go. Alumite. Now, this is a very helpful item. Be, or, um, um, material because as you can see here it has a great durability and it has an awesome mining speed with a mining level of four and that's important because in order to get uh, actually you know I want to make my hammer out of cobalt so first what I want to make is a pickaxe out of alumite so that I can then go mine cobalt in the nether to then make a hammer made out of cobalt because as you will see here Cobalt has a lot better. It has a mining speed of 11, which is important. A mining level of 4. And as you can see here, it has more durability. Now, the, each of these items can be upgraded. So you've got Cobalt, and then you have Ardite, and then you have Millennium, and then you got... That's actually the highest of the tiers as far as durability goes. But you see the mining speed is not as good. It has a mining level of 5, but once again, um, there's no millennium that appears in the world, so there's no point. And you would rather have a mining speed of 11, which is why I'm going with cobalt for the hammer. So, let's put away these casts for now because we don't have the material yet to make the hammer. Um, but we do want to make a pickaxe. So let's go ahead and look at that. And oh, oh, before I do that, though, I do need to also make some um, of the al alumite right here. So how do you make alumite? Well... I just got a turtle hat. I just got I just got I just got a turtle hat. <laughs> All right. Hello. Oh man, look at it go. So much faster and the great thing is 
I'm not even doing anything. Hello and welcome.